You ever look at some people and just wonder, what the hell is wrong with them? Like seriously, you ask the question, what the hell is wrong with them? How could they be so stupid or how could they do so many stupid things? Now, surely some of you will ask that question about me, justifiably, understandably. So, but beyond me, like, they're just those people you look at it and you go, like, how can you continue to do stupid things? Like, no excuses, no BS, just, why are you such a dumbass? Stop doing stupid things. It's really not that hard. And especially when you look at people that seem to have a lot going for them and seem to have a lot of success and frankly do have a lot of success. You sit there and you wonder like, what is your problem? Why can't you just be happy? You've worked hard, you got yourself to a spot. Why do you have to do these dumb things? It just kind of feeds into our human nature. We're self-destructive creatures by habit. It's almost like we can't enjoy too much success without us trying to figure out ways to complicate crap and introduce drama into our lives when it's just not needed. And then look at what's going on with Jimmy Uso, who just got popped off for driving under the influence the other day. And, you know, you just look at him and, and you say, like, how stupid can you be, Oos? Like, how stupid can you be? Like, you want to talk about stupid timing. You literally just got knocked by Cena on Raw Monday night at the Raw reunion for your mugshot. And then a couple of days later, you're getting arrested for driving under the freaking influence. Like, you can't make this stuff up. I and mean, it's like, what is wrong with him? And sure, people are going to make the excuse about addiction and da 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 and da 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 da. And I don't want to hear that crap. You've got a good career that you've worked really hard for. You're actually one of the few talents with your brother Jay that is actually over on the roster. You make a lot of money. Your TV stars. You're respected by fans. You're respected by peers. You come from a long lineage of wrestling royalty in that Samoan family tree. You're married to a hardworking, beautiful woman who has her own good career in Naomi. Like, what the hell is wrong with people sometimes? I just don't get it. Like, to me, I just can't see the appeal of alcohol in general to the point where you would potentially jeopardize everything you've worked so hard for in your life just to get drunk. And I don't want to hear a bunch of sympathy for him because when you get to the point where you get drunk and you get behind the wheel, this is not something like you just got drunk and passed out like a Jeff Hardy situation. You have gotten drunk, chosen to get behind the wheel, be in a vehicle where you could potentially put others in harm's way. That is not okay. That is not just a matter of having too much to drink, not being able to handle your liquor, or making a poor decision. It's making a really, really, really bad, selfish, selfish reckless decision that could potentially have fatal consequences for himself and others. And I just don't get it. And what I really don't get is... Wasn't he already in trouble earlier this year? Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Jimmy get arrested back in like January or February for getting into it with the fucking cops? Like you would think you already got arrested once this year, you dipstick. You would do everything you can to avoid getting in trouble again. Especially knowing that getting in trouble again could potentially put your own career on the freaking line. And because it always seems like you and your brother Jay are kind of a package deal where if one of you is out, the other one's not even being featured on television, you're potentially putting your brother's career at stake and on the line and in jeopardy as well. You selfish son of a bitch. There just is no excuse for this. And it's like, if the thing earlier in the year didn't teach him a lesson, clearly it didn't, is this going to teach him a lesson? This is not funny. This is not cute. This is moronic, 
idiotic behavior. And the type of moronic, idiotic behavior that could really have dramatic long-term consequences. Like, I can't imagine that Trinity is going to want to sit there and stay with Jonathan, Jimmy, forever if he continues to do these stupid things. And nor should she. She should expect better and she should demand better. And frankly, Jimmy Uso should expect and demand better out of him damn self. And it's like, what's going to get the message across here that you're heading down a bad path? What's going to send the message here that this type of behavior cannot continue? It most certainly is not WWE putting out a whack-ass, strongly worded statement talking about their talents take responsibility for it. What in the hell are you even talking about? No, that's not helping anything. That is enabling the behavior. And what we have here is a situation where behavior needs to be corrected, not continue to be enabled. So what do you do? Do you suspend Jimmy Uso? Do you fire Jimmy Uso? You know, sometimes in order to learn a lesson, you have to have those things that you value the most taken away from you in order to realize the opportunities, the gifts, the blessings that you have in front of you. I don't know what else is going to do it at this point. You know, to me, I look at it and I'd say, as an employer, especially for the type of company that a WWE is, this is a guy that is a face of this company. You know, I understand he's not a megastar or anything, but ultimately he represents the brand in personal appearances at shows, at live events, on television, and so forth. So that matters. That means something. And it's not a good look to continue to have idiots like Jim, Jim Uso sit there and get into legal trouble, especially dealing with the freaking cops. What's going to happen the next time? You get liquored up again, and you get into it with the wrong cop at the wrong day, and they won't care that you're not black, you're Samoan, you're still not white. They're going to cap your ass, and then what the hell are you going to do? The first thing that WWE should have said is that pending the result of any criminal proceedings or any goings-on in the justice system involving Jimmy Uso, that he's suspended indefinitely. Because worst case scenario, he has a really bad judgment problem, a really bad problem with making the right choices and the right decisions. And maybe, just maybe, losing some pay, losing the opportunity to ply his craft and go with his passion could shock his system a little bit. If not, then maybe his ass does need to be fired. Maybe. And if that means Jay doesn't want to be there, then let Jay go too. Fuck him. You can't just sit there and not do anything. Because that's not going to help. It's not in the best interest of WWE. It's not in the best interest of Trinity. And it most certainly is not in the best interest of Jimmy Uso. He needs to be punished for this. And pretty severely. This is twice within a year. This is not just some... No big deal. Whoopsies. This is getting into it with fucking cops, and this is sitting there and clearly demonstrating that you have issues with alcohol and fucking controlling yourself and making good decisions when you drink. I don't want to hear this addiction shit. That's a cop-out. That's an excuse, and it's a bad one. If Jimmy Uso has an addiction to anything, it's to being a dumbass and making stupid, reckless, selfish decisions. Letting him be on TV next week or anytime soon is not solving anything, is not helping anything, and it most certainly is not the right way to go. Jimmy Uso should at least be suspended, if not fired. And if you say, well, you weren't exactly calling for Jeff Hardy to be fired, fair enough. I think one key difference here, though, is Jeff Hardy was found drunk but passed out on, what was it, like, a steps or somewhere in public, but he wasn't behind the wheel. He wasn't in a car driving. There is a difference. Jeff Hardy's previous arrest was for that. So, to be fair, if you wanted to say, you know what, Jeff Hardy should be indefinitely suspended as well. He should potentially be fired as well. 
you know what? I'm not going to stand in your way because I could support that. It's really not that hard to not do stupid things like this. And justifying them, excusing them, is only enabling the behavior and allowing it to continue. And then other talents sit there and look at it and say, we can do whatever we want and there are no consequences or repercussions for this. And once you get to that point, that's when things truly get dangerous for all parties involved. Jimmy Uso needs help, but before he gets help, he needs to help himself and stop being an idiot. Flat out. Because until he reconciles with himself that he needs to stop being an idiot, that he's being an idiot, and it's not good, and he could potentially lose everything, nothing else is going to matter. Nothing else is going to happen. No positive change is going to come. He must look first at himself and say, do I want to change? If the answer is yes, then what am I going to do to change it? And if the WWE, by suspending or firing him, can help him on that path, then more power to him. It is the best thing for all parties involved. I get so sick and tired of seeing these people that go so hard towards a passion and work years and years to get to a certain point, and then they just can't help but be idiots. It really can't possibly be that hard. And if it is, work on figuring out how to make it easier. This is ridiculous, man.